I just got some solid chunk. Alright, yo, this is Marshall. Also known as Marshaman Ball Z Chia Seed. I have many names. Probably at least 10 that I could think of right now. I'm not about to list them all. But I'm here to make a video. Uh, got only a few topics in mind. Uh, I'm starting a new channel up. It's called Poetic Heretic. I'm going to be posting a lot of rap videos. Uh, probably some vlogs like this, just me talking to the camera straight up. I'm really not trying to get into political arguments with people, but uh, a lot of what I have to say is kind of innately politically incendiary, so it's going to cause a lot of controversy naturally, but when it comes to actually arguing and text battles with people over the internet, I just got to say I don't give a fuck nine times out of ten. Sometimes I do, and that's usually because there's a personal element to it. It's a friend that I have that I happen to care about. Anyway, I've been on a fast for like, uh, I mean, I'm off it now, but I was on a fast for five days, just water. And I can't tell you guys how amazing I felt coming off that fast. You just don't realize what you take something for granted like food for instance going back to eating after not eating for five days you just appreciate that food so much I can't tell you in human words even how amazing that was to just have my first chicken taco after not eating for so long I mean five days really is nothing in the scheme of things but it feels long when you're not eating trust me just take my word for it I imagine most of you haven't fasted highly recommend it though uh, I'm going to skip ahead. I could obviously talk about that for like an hour at least, I feel like, but I'm trying to keep this video relatively short and concise. The purpose of this video is actually to shout out my homie who's like, I seriously consider this guy one of my best homies. Like, we don't always talk, but when we do, we're like on the same page right away. He's always challenged me. He's always been a good friend. He's always told me to take care of my health and my body and my intellect, keep my mind sound. He's always looked out for me as a true friend should. A true friend should not bullshit you. If you're doing something bad to yourself and your friend's just sitting there letting you do it, that ain't no fucking friend. That's an enemy. I'm sorry. But this guy, his name is Spencer Sharp. A lot of you will probably know him already. Uh, let me... Wait. I gotta... Yeah, his YouTube channel is www.youtube.com slash user slash the clock's ticking the clock's ticking like that and then dispensary 7 is also something you can search it's called dispensary 7 is the channel name you can search that on youtube uh, I've been homies with this guy for a long time he is one of the most down to earth and real people I've ever met and honestly, when he comes back to the bay and I'm in the bay, we chill and it's fucking good times. And it's like, you know, it makes me feel young because he's a fucking cool ass dude. And, you know, we're just so dishonored by all these fucking idiots everywhere. And I look around and I'm sorry. This is you guys. <laughs> I love you all. But quite frankly, a lot of you need to work in here and up here. You got a lot of work to do. So do I. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I am saying I've come a long way. And I know for a fact that I used to be a bad person, and I'm not anymore. And it took a long time and a lot of work, but I can finally confidently say that and fully believe it with my heart. Uh, biggest mistake I ever made, this guy came up to me senior year of high school, a um, few days before graduation, I think, or maybe the last couple weeks of school, handed me his CD and I made the mistake of not listening to it right away. He said he had an interest in rap. I had never met him before this time. And uh, I think I might have said that he was my friend from high school, but it's pretty much where I met him initially, right at the end. So anyway, I didn't listen to it right away. It just sat on my desk. You know, I had a wild, crazy summer where I was just partying, doing all these, you know, selfish, hedonistic behaviors that we get in, involved in, you know. And basically, eventually, you know, towards the end of summer, I just coincidentally saw that thing on my desk, that CD, uh, with some pretty interesting album art, by the way, at the time. And I just tossed it in my, my iMac computer at the time, played it, and I was like, oh my fucking god, dude, like, 
why the fuck didn't I listen to this like right away? This this is genius. This guy's amazing. This guy literally has a gift. He has a message to share with the world that matters. And he's always had integrity to that message. And, um, you know, on the internet, there's all these personalities and egos and alter egos and fucking bullshit. But this guy is who he says he is. And he's a fucking artist. And I love him. And my video's running out of time, so I'm concluding this. But... I will make more shout-outs in the future. Much love. Love all y'all. Quantum blessings. Honor.